Welcome to this Qtile system. We're gonna take a look at the bar. The thing that's up here, that's basically the only thing we can change. There's the borders, of course, of the windows that we open. That's something we can change, all these borders, the colors and all that. But basically, um, this is the only thing that is um, gonna matter for designing or theming or tweaking. Now, where do I tweak my Qtile system? Everything is in Qtile. The .config Qtile in there is a config pi. Open it up with Atom. It's only the device. You open it up with whatever you want, but it's, um, choose your edit and choose it uh, editor and choose it wisely. Packages, settings view, install packages. You can install lots of extensions like uh, CSS Firefox with extensions and Google Chrome with extensions. So it's gonna make Atom better. And pigments is something that has been installed which um, displays the RGBs and hexadecimal codes as actual colors. And minimap pigments and minimap itself is also interesting because we have a minimap. This is your minimap and it's easy to navigate because visually I know already this is the beginning of my widgets. Just by looking at this design of code, I say I need to be here in the beginning and this is the block of the colors. Just by navigating to the sideline here, I know I have to be here to explain everything about coloring. So everything set up. We have our um, editor with some colors in here. So basically this thing is actually correct. Control C, it is right. Control Alt G, I better put on my screen key maybe. And then you see what I'm pressing. Control Alt V. This is indeed the color. So if you wanna choose one or the other, 60 million colors then you need to control c this thing and then move it over here and say okay i rather like to have this kind of color in here so that's it and you have a different kind of orange okay so choosing colors is up to you 60 million choices now where do we start so i start at uh, at, at the top here in the sense uh, at this point in time number 309 numbers are not important they will change in the future we will upgrade and update this configuration so just move to the block with all the colors so this thing it's gonna make a um, initialize some colors and say okay color zero is something black so well the color that we've chosen this kind of color if you are um, aware already about x monads and polybar and all that that's the color of the polybar that we've been using in other tiling window manners. So we have a similar kind of feel. When we go to Qtile, we say, okay, it feels the same as Xmonad, as BSP, WM, etc. So it's um, a theming thing, okay? But you can choose something else, something white, something yellow, something, anything. 60 million colors. We have also this kind of color available and this particular thing, this color is, is also uh, a choice and why is that so important and why do I even go and look it up because we have a particular brand design this blue is a specific blue the blue color of the logo is this and RGB is that so okay this means that the coloring is is following adhering uh, the logo this is the blue this thing is the blue of our logo all right so you set out with a, 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 a number of colors, okay, zero to nine. Um, and then you're going to initialize these colors. So this is, uh, this is called upon and then colors is a variable. And then you say, I want to have color one or a color two or zero. And we're going to use at the, in the testing here, color six. And why six? Well, first off, my intention is not to make tutorials to solve a particular question in general. I mean, I'm not keen in making students at my new university as well, who can just copy what I am pressing. I want to have students who can think for themselves and can analyze and evaluate what the issue is and solve the issue themselves. The thing is, I want you to try out one by one what all these colors and all these codes mean. And, um, uh, that, that's the point of figuring out, hey, how does Qtile work? And I have to do it just like you. 
I don't know, Qtile. I've never tried Qtile before, before I started with Attic Linux. So it's new for me as well. So how do you analyze a new desktop environment? Next time it's uh, Herbsluft, WM, etc., etc., etc. So how do you learn these things? Well, you read, of course. So we have some colors that have been initialized here. We can take a look at all control find, all the colors. We can search 60 found. So we have 60 definitions there saying this is, has that color, this has that color. And we have a foreground color and a background color, fine. And we just walk through it first glance you know and then say okay now let's let's try out and, and go in detail now we're not gonna talk about colors alone we're gonna talk about um, the widgets so we've decided to go of course with the same font that we've using other Arch Linux uh, versions so not the sans font size is 12 padding is 2 and here we have something about the background color so let's get rid of the colors here so remember, color zero and one is this bluish thing that does this thing in the middle here. So the kind of uh, polybar look. So the background is one. And then we go, let's go initialize all the widgets and then we have the widgets list. So now we start from left to right. That's the design here. So the widgets list is this thing from here till here. And we can decide upon the font size. If we don't want the font size to be this big, we can change it. There's a margin, a padding. So if you have a little bit of CSS or HTML training about websites, then you may get the words padding better and margin better. So how much space from the top, from the left, top, right? How do you position an element in a object? The border width is zero, there is no border, and we can't drag it around. And we have active colors, there we go. So the color nine is an active color, so let's have a look. So indeed, this is active, this is not active, but when I press it, it is active again. So the active thing gets the color, okay, fine. And that's how you analyze, you start by learning all these things. And inactive is five, what's inactive? Five is kind of whitish thing okay so that's this thing now like I said what I would do Control C when I'm starting to learn I would just change the color so this color 9 active color I just make it 6 because that's the number for red super shift R oh yeah this is quite obviously something that I've changed so this red thing up here is because of the fact that I just change this to six. Control Z, Control Z. And again, what is this line then? Control Save, Super Shift R. Oh yeah, that's all the inactive stuff. So nothing is in here. So that's why we get all the threads. So we can change all these colors any way you see fit and have fun with it. Rounded false and method highlight text, etc. Things, I don't know. I don't know. I just should try it before um, well, not before, but just try it and then you see what's going to change. So that's all good now. We're back to where it was. Now, the for the, this current screen border, for instance, we can change that one as well. Save and see what happens. And that gives us this thing. This is now red because of this variable that has changed. And that's how you learn. And if it's set the way you like it, leave it. Foreground, let's try and have some fun here as well and see if that changes anything. At this point, I don't see any difference. Maybe it's me, um, but it's font awesome. So I'm wondering, let's see if we change this, what happens then? That's clearly changed. So that's the background color. And then we have foreground color. So this hasn't changed. Might be because of the fact that this is an icon, right? And not text not sure so I don't know everything I'm certainly not a guru of Linux what you do is take invest time actually just invest a lot of time and, and try it out so okay let's put some text in here and see what happens so besides the icon we have now some text 
and I wondered if if this this text should change or anything. So I thought maybe this number is uh, only going to change the text and not the icon, all right? But doesn't seem to be the case. So it's something we still well don't need to figure out, but we will figure it out maybe sometime. I don't know. Um, I was thinking, uh, uh, did I forget something here? I've just changed it back, so that's why I don't see anything, of course. So, reload. So, foreground color is red, and did I change now the text? Let's try it again, just to be sure. No. So, don't know what it is. Maybe you don't see it at this point in time, maybe I forgot something, maybe, I don't know. So. It's in the video, whatever. So the line width, next one, that's the separator. Uh, let's reload first. So we're back to the normal kind of look. The separator is the line that's in here. That's the separator. If you want to have a line width of, let's exaggerate, five, then we are going to have a line like this. Why not? If you like that, why not? Okay, reload. Padding, that's the amount that you have between these two elements. And if you want to, but the best thing to do is exaggerate. That's the best thing to do. And see, okay, that's 50. That's actually not bad. That's up to you. Save. Again, the foreground, the colors, but I don't, know, don't think I have to go over that again and again and again. So the foreground here, it actually does show rather than this guy. Um, so, I'm thinking that's because of the icons, this thing and that thing. Anyway, we'll figure it out. So this six thing is actually not bad. If you want to have a menu bar, everything in red, why not? Then this is your color. The background, as usual, it's this um, polybar look and now everything is all red. So back, back, back and back. Save, reload. So this is how you analyze things. This is how you figure it out. And if you don't want bold or you do want bold, then you just type bold behind it and so on and so on. Like this. So these both, both these, these guys are then bold because this is bold, but this isn't. Okay, so the change in look is that this is also bold now. Okay, all choices. And there we go. So what else is important? We have these strange little things here. And I guess we are now here. That's the red one. If I'm guessing, maybe I should change the six color into five, I think is whitish. And this one, and then you agree with me that this little thing is actually that icon. So fine we can change that color as well. So we are going from left to right through the menu. The CPU graph is this thing, and the CPU graph has the border colors, etc., the fill colors. You can try and change these things as well. Then we have put something in, um, in hashtags or commented out, as they say, and it has a reference to VirtualBox. Do not activate in VirtualBox because Qtile just crashes. So we left it out. The terminal sensor is actually something I really like because it's gonna say to me how much uh, heat I'm producing. I have a CPU core of 33 Celsius, 32 Celsius, 35 Celsius, and I keep, can keep track of um, how hot it gets. When is that interesting? Never, unless I am building an ISO when I am going for Arch Linux B, and you can do as well and build an ISO, you'll see that at some point in time, all the way at the end, this machine really is, is performing because the ISO needs to be built at the end, the ISO. All right, so we have something new up here because we have commented it out. It was a pretty neat trick with this toggle comments. Then we are here, the separator. We can make some color changes there, but we've done that already. There is this um, font awesome, that's this icon. So this thing 
it's this icon. If you don't like the colors, change padding, font size, change it. This is something special in the sense that this Arco Memory Pi has been uh, created by us. Thank you, Cryf, for making that. So, the that at this point in time, what is the problem? It will not be a problem maybe later, but at this point in time, we had an issue. If we watch uh, HTOP or GTOP or anything like it, this gives us a number of how how much we use in memory. So this thing is exactly or more or less the same. But if we use the one coming from Qtile, we had double of uh, memory. So the memory, this thing down here, I believe it's this one, this block here, is actually the block from Qtile. But Qtile, well, we've um, added an issue on Qtile GitHub and it's now gonna go in the system in Qtile itself. So you see the difference. This is not correct. And thanks to Cryf and, and, and us, the Arco Linux team, um, we have put it on GitHub and it seems that it's gonna go into the code. So whenever the correct code hits us, this guy can go. We don't need it anymore since the numbers will be the same. Okay, so that's a little bit special. So at some point in time, this will go and the code here probably will go as well. We'll see, we'll see. Anyway, then there's the battery. This one I'm gonna skip because the battery is for laptops. I'm on a desktop for one. It gives you a little icon saying um, you don't have an icon, I, you don't have a battery and we get this icon with none battery. But um, I've made a video about the batteries, so I refer to that video. So lots of choices, four choices to make a battery icon. So we are at the separator. So I guess this, this thing, if you are guessing, if you don't know, then you just change it again, right? So this is blue now. I've made it eight instead of six. My mistake, but never mind. I've seen it, that it changed. So that's the separator. This is the calendar, okay, calendar, and this is the clock. And if you say, hmm, I'd rather have my hours in front of it, well, do it. And reload it. It's gonna be like this. And I don't know if you have a strict issue with the formatting. Personally, I really don't care. I will make the switch in my head. But if you rather see it like this, you do it like this. Okay. So we are now at this point, another separator and the SysTray thing. So everything that goes, that's coming from our, well, applications in general, that's gonna be in here. And that's uh, the end actually of our long list. So this block in here, so this, this long list is all about the menu and the widgets. So enjoy, it ends here actually, enjoy and um, we'll have fun designing it, right? Okay, cheers. <laughs>